Hey guys, welcome to Cats Out The Bag. Make sure to subscribe and if you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube or listen on Spotify. Hello guys, it's Mirabin and welcome or welcome back to Cats Out The Bag where today I'm going to be doing a Christmas themed episode which is super super exciting so christmas will have actually happened by the time this goes up which is actually terrifying but i thought i'd do a little christmas themed episode because why not and i will do a like tradition not traditions what am i going on about i will do a um new year one as well but yeah, I'm super excited for today's podcast. So in today's one, I'm going to be basically sharing like Christmas traditions that like I do as a family. I do as a family. I do like with my family. I'll also be like, I don't know, just basically talking all things Christmas, which I think is yeah, just something fun to do. So go straight into this. So I have an actual, I have a list here of like my Christmas traditions and like what we do. We don't have like loads of them. But there's like a few that we do at the moment and then I'd like to start up some new ones, but I don't know. I'd just like to say before we get into it though, thank you all for 25 subscribers. I know that sounds like nothing, but I appreciate it a lot. It's currently two days, no, three days before Christmas. It's the 22nd of December. So I'm really excited for Christmas, obviously. Super, super happy. It's my first Christmas since I've like, well, that I've like been at uni for, which is super weird. But I'm going to do like a uni update so i can talk all things uni and that this is just christmas related because i'm aware that a lot of my content is uni related and might not be everyone's cup of tea so if you are watching this on youtube you will be able to see that i am in my pajamas i'm sorry for that but it's the 22nd of december and i really fancied chilling in my pajamas for this podcast because why not super fun and if yeah if you are watching then please subscribe it's mean the world to me love to get 30 by the end of the year <laughs> that'd be great <coughs> i do have a bit of a cold so if i cough occasionally then i'm very sorry about that but so yeah i'm gonna get straight into this and talk about my kind of traditions so our christmas traditions as a family first of all this is a bit of a controversial one i did mention this um with george in a q and i think we did like a drive with me q and a kind of thing and basically so we always 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 open a christmas present early on christmas eve every single year we open a present on christmas eve without fail now this is a strange one and i'm surprised we all still do it because we did it when we were um little just because we wouldn't like be able to wait until christmas day like because we were younger you know you know what kids are like with christmas presents but i don't know why we still do it now because obviously we can wait that extra day but also my nana's birthday is on the 24th of december so christmas eve so we do actually do like a christmas with her and like birthday in one on the 24th of december so yeah I don't know why we still open one from mum early because we always have the ones from like um our family early as well so i don't know why we still do that that is a bit strange hmm i don't know but <laughs> that's something we always always do and this year i've well and last year i think i gave one to my mum early but this year i made i don't know if you can see if you're watching on youtube you'll be able to see the lovely little advent calendar over there so i bought a little advent calendar from tk maxx for my mum it's like made of like cardboard but it looks like a wooden like lovely little like gingerbread house kind of vibes and it has from 1 to 24 and i filled them all with like lindor balls and cute little things like that and for number 24 i put a present in there now she will have opened this by the time this podcast's out so i can obviously talk about that but yeah i got her this little like pandora charm for her pandora bracelet with like two little hugging polar bears on and that is her christmas eve present bit more than we'd normally spend it would normally be something a bit smaller like i don't know maybe like pajamas or just the smallest presents normally the one we give earlier but just because it fit in the calendar and I was like this is the only present that of hers that actually fits in the calendar may as well put it in so I thought that was quite cute but yeah okay so um I'm gonna talk through like what goes down on Christmas so um like on Christmas day what our like routine is so when we first I don't know what time we normally wake up basically whoever is first awake in the house that's the person who kind of like goes around and wakes everyone else up so 
if I wake up first, which never happens, that's never happened, say my brother woke up first, he'd like come wake us up and then we'd, uh, we have stockings um, on mum's bed in mum's room, we have done since we were about, as long as I remember, I don't know, we have done that for as long as I remember though, like gone and sat in her room and done stockings um, and then we go downstairs and have breakfast which is normally like either like pan of chocolates and things like that or it's like salmon and scrambled egg on toast um like we have this quite early so it's normally about nine o'clock by the time we have breakfast or like half nine and then we have um presents under the tree so like all to each other and then we have family come round and then we do all of the presents to each other <laughs> It's all presents for like three hours straight and then we have lunch and then they stay, we play some games, have some drinks, all of that kind of stuff, have a cheese board and then we have, um, and then they go home. But this year they're actually staying overnight so that should be fun. And yeah, that's basically what happens on Christmas Eve, no Christmas Day, sorry. And then Boxing Day, well yeah, they're staying around so Boxing Day will do something as well. But yeah it's cute like I love my Christmas days like they're just so like fun we'll like chill for a couple of hours like look at presents and things like say we had like a present that needed setting up like this is when we like set up phones say we got a phone last no not last year two years ago mum actually got me a phone no that was for my birthday I think I don't remember either Christmas or my birthday and I remember setting it up um in that time just so people don't think i'm spoilt i'm just gonna say it was not a brand new phone it was a second hand phone not that, that matters to me but i don't want people thinking oh my god she gets a phone for christmas oh my god she's so spoiled you know she just get those <laughs> assumptions out because <laughs> people always think i'm so spoiled and i don't know why they think that because i have a lot of stuff but i buy it, a lot of it myself just saying my phone bought it myself <laughs> this is i've got a new one since then um, but yeah, so, what was I going to go on to next? Advent calendar. Now, okay, I've got this written down as a tradition. I don't know what I actually meant by this, because obviously everyone has an advent calendar. I think I meant that I normally make one for my mum, because, so this is the first year I've actually bought one. I made one a couple of, well, I made one about eight years ago, that looking back at it now, it looks rubbish, but it's not. It was really good. I was quite young. Um... And yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't make one last year. But anyway, it's now a tradition of mine to make an advent calendar for my mum. Or, oh no, I know what I did. I normally buy them for her. So yeah, I bought them for her like the last couple of years. And this year I've actually made one. Uh, not made, sorry, like filled it myself. Like I didn't make it myself. Obviously, I've just told you that I bought it from TK Maxx. Um, but I think it's quite nice and like personal to have like filled it myself so like I for example I filled it with Lindor as I said which is like her favorite chocolate so there's like loads of different little Lindor things in there there's like some chocolate coins in them I had some nail polishes in a few of them just something a bit more you know just a bit fun um but like, that's just a nice little way of doing it so there's like a few little presents in each one not in every single one but in the advent calendar there are a few that have like little presents like the um nail polishes in and obviously number 30 like 30 number 24 has the oh yeah that's christmas eve that's in two days time oh my god two days you've got two days left of our calendar um yeah that's obviously the main present i guess well not main present that i've bought her but you know anyway the next thing i have on here is matching pjs now this is a new one again but i'm carrying it on as a tradition so me and my boyfriend bought matching pajamas this year and I think they are so cute and I'm going to wear them on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, whenever. Just they're so cute and I feel like they're just such a nice addition to Christmas. Like they just make it so nice and cosy. Having matching pyjamas with someone. Oh my god, it's so cute. I literally love it. Um, So that is definitely something that I'm going to be like carrying on through the years. Like I'll have, what I plan on doing with my kids is making like, I saw this the other day. I can't remember which shop I was in, but sorry, there's one of the Christmas tree branches is digging into me. Um, there's like a Christmas Eve box and I thought that was such a cute idea like a little box that you open on Christmas Eve had like pyjamas, a little candle like how cute is that? Honestly adorable, I love that so yeah I think that's lovely 
And then the last one I have on here that we do is decorating the tree together. Always, always, always. So I actually came back from university to decorate my Christmas tree. I know that sounds just absolutely ridiculous, but I that's what we do. We are so like family orientated and we always decorate the Christmas tree together. I say true Christmas tree, but our whole house is full of decorations. I mean, just in this room, there's like a hundred different wreaths, not wreaths, um, garlands and like obviously the christmas tree we have 10 christmas trees this year crazy and one in every single room and some of them we have more than one in like upstairs we have three in one room crazy i know i have two in my bedroom a lot of christmas trees it's just kind of our thing christmas is our kind of time of year um anyway so now i'm gonna go on to traditions that like other people have if that makes sense so this is like other traditions that i've like researched and found out about and I would love to like take on board some of them but I'm gonna basically like react to a few of them so the first one that I have here is memento Christmas ornaments now this is like something really really cute so I saw this where did I see it I can't remember now but there's um like obviously you can do shop bought or handmade or whatever but I saw basically every year this family gave it gave each other a Christmas ornament like personal not necessarily personalized but like with them in mind so like say I was buying one for my brother I might get like a Star Wars one or something if I was getting one for my mum one with like a little dolphin in or something like that like just like personal um Christmas decorations I thought that was such a lovely idea and then by the end of like I don't know a couple years you have a whole Christmas tree full like that's such a lovely tradition I thought so like say you're doing that with I don't know like your boyfriend and you gave like one a year or something and then by the time you've moved in together you'd have like a whole tree's worth of decorations I just think that's so lovely um yeah I really like that but yeah the next one I've got written down here is Christmas Eve trivias and games now we do do this as a family but we don't necessarily do it on Christmas Eve like we just do it whenever we're all together I thought it was so cool that I was picturing like Christmas Eve night chilling playing games with like cheese board and like wine or something I thought that would just be such a cool like tradition I mean obviously it's as I said it's something that we have done before but not necessarily on like Christmas Eve yeah but yeah, I thought that was really cute. Sorry, my brother just came in. That was weird. Um, yeah, I love that one. And we kind of do it. And I would definitely be doing that in the future. Because I think it's such a nice tradition. Um, another one I have here is a Christmas photo booth. That is my cat. Hi. Christmas photo booth. So this would be so cool. And I did see them the other day. And I thought I really want to do that. Basically, not even... Well, you could just... If you have a plain wall, you could set up like a little border or something and then you have like I don't know like a Santa's hat on a stick and you can like stand there a little moustache or something and then take like loads of nice photos because then when you look back across the years you can see like how much people have changed it's just nice because normally we only get like one photo on Christmas day and it's not like I mean it's not always great of everyone but it's always just one photo and it'd be so nice to have so many of different ones I think that would be just so fun um the next one <coughs> we probably wouldn't ever do this but it is um picking a christmas tree so mm, this one's like i don't know i mean i personally prefer the fake christmas trees i would love a real christmas tree but i have cats i feel like they'd just make a mess of it and it's constant hoovering it would be nice but also i would like to put my decorations up in november i feel like christmas trees die after like a week don't they or like two weeks like it's always one of the things you do really last minute my cat is playing with my tripod so i'm sorry if you can see any movement there <laughs> i'm very sorry about that um i would love to pick a christmas tree but i don't know i don't know let me know if any of you guys do it because I saw, I think it was Chloe Burrows did a video, like a Christmas Q&A, and she was talking about picking a Christmas tree, and she said that she always remembers it as a really fond memory, like from her childhood, like doing it with her family, waking up really early, coming back, having drinks and a cheese board or something. Um, and I, I think I would do it when I have kids, but I don't think I feel the need for it now. But then again, like if you have dogs and cats in the house, it'd just be a nightmare. I don't know. Hmm, maybe I would do that, but... I don't know I'm a bit unsure anyway the final one I have here is elf on the shelf so this is a tradition which is 
more common with like children obviously like parents do it for their kids so well yeah I hope there's no kids watching this who I've just spoiled that for because I'm pretty sure that the adults do it for the elf but anyway they basically I don't know I don't really know the behind the scenes of it but I'm pretty sure they have to like create a scene that the elf has made on that day so they could do like I don't know you have to get really creative put like an elf in a bowl of cereal with milk splattered everywhere and then the child like comes down the next day to find the mess that the elf has made um i think that's quite a fun tradition if you have kids but i can imagine it being really stressful because you've got to do it for every single day of december i think and i'm not gonna lie i think that's a bit stressful i don't know if i'd be able to do that but i mean it sounds like a nice little tradition it sounds like a bit fun but i'm just not sure i'd personally be participating in that one anyway that is actually the end of the traditions one i'm just checking yeah i think it is so that is actually the end wow that was quite quick i'm sorry i filmed that more like a youtube video rather than a podcast i've just remembered this is going on cats out the bag not my youtube channel so i'm sorry about that <laughs> but <laughs> Anyway, if you guys did enjoy it, then definitely give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe as that would mean the entire world to me. No, you're not subscribing unless you're watching me on YouTube. But if you did watch on YouTube, then please subscribe. Um, as I said, I'd really like to get... Well, I've said before, I'd like to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year, but that's not going to happen because that's about eight days away. But if I could get like... I don't know, I'm not going to put a goal and number on it because I did that with my other channel and sometimes it gets a bit upsetting if you don't then reach that goal and I know obviously I'm not as regular on here I'm kind of posting every week just once a week and I'm not gonna lie sometimes I do actually forget to I'm sorry I've missed I think I've missed two since I've started and I started in September now that's not awful but I think I don't think I'm even on episode 10 yet maybe this is episode 10 that I'm filming right now I think it is I don't know I'm trying to see oh I can't see it's not coming up yeah anyway yeah, I can't find it. That's so weird. Sorry, I can't find my episode number. I always write the episode number. Oh well. Okay. So yeah, I think this one's about episode 10. Anyway, thank you all so much for listening or watching or whatever you did. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you all have had the most wonderful Christmas ever. I know I've had a great Christmas. I know I will have had a great Christmas, I wouldn't say. Well, I hope I will have done. We've actually got no water at the moment, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, so we're probably not having Christmas at ours this year. Don't know what we're going to do instead. But, yeah, no water for four days. Four days we've had no water. Nightmare, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you've been listening, then make sure to give it a five-star rating and a follow, I think, or a thumbs up. I don't know what you do. But definitely give it a five star rating i think we've got a five star rating at the moment which is lovely and also i do have an instagram and a tiktok if you wanted to follow over there and yeah thank you so much for watching and listening and yeah hope you all enjoyed i'll see you in the next episode happy thursday bye